History to be made again tonight. For the first time at Bank of California Stadium, LAFC host LA Galaxy. It's LA Derby night. And everything was going well. Okay, rekindling things. Pulled from underneath him by Perry Kitchen. Kay is actually staying down. Yeah, the injury was obviously super unlucky. Yeah, I guess that's just part of the game. And I'm just ready to pick up from where I left off once I'm able to start playing again. Maybe sometimes I'm a little hard-headed, and I guess when I was younger I was a little bit, maybe I had an attitude problem, stuff like that. I felt like I was definitely capable of cracking into the first team. You know, when it didn't happen at the time that I wanted to, I ended up spending a year with their USL team, and you know, not everything went as planned as I wanted to. In the long run, I look back and I think it was a very important thing in my life to happen because then it shaped me for who I am now. The USL definitely humbled me, made me understand that you know, you have to keep working hard no matter what. It wasn't easy, the transition to Louisville, because it was different, the coaching staff was different, you know, the mindset was different. I got to watch Mark Anthony in the Gold Cup of Canada, and I really liked what I saw. Very early on, we saw Mark brought something different, analyzing and, and trying to translate what you see with another team and how it would work within our group. In training every day, Mark worked hard and, and was a young player that just wanted to get better. Uh, and those are all great starting points. Finally, January came around, and it was maybe a couple days after the draft, my agent called me and said, oh yeah, Bob Bradley has a lot of interest in you. Let's see where this goes. You know, we're going to try and get it done over the line pretty quickly. So I was like excited, but then I was kind of shocked because I was like, okay, like, you know, LAFC, a brand new, brand new team, and they're looking at me. From the time that we got him in in preseason, uh, you could see where uh, he was open, he listened, he applied ideas, uh, and, and I think throughout the season, uh, until his injury, he was improving week by week. It's, it's a, it was definitely a dream come true, and I was just very grateful for them to give me the opportunity because you know, they didn't have to. Today, Mark Anthony Kay, they've got the task of protecting that makeshift back line. The next thing you know, I, I was starting the first game of the season, and I was like, okay, like, you know what, like, let's just do well, you know? It was just be consistent, do the right things, whatever the game plan is, stick to it. And then uh, after that, I started to get a little bit more comfortable and started to really enjoy, you know, the moment going out there. And um, I guess after that, just let everything became natural for me. That one just gets airborne, deflected. Oh, little spin over here. It's in front for Mark Anthony K onside. Very early on, we saw Mark brought something different. Credit to him for the hard work he's put in a big player for us and a player that people around the league start to take notice of when they think of, of LAFC. And I think throughout the season, he was improving week by week. So for us, a really important player. I was in a great spot. I think uh, mentally, physically, my, my playing definitely improved a lot over the season. And when we got to that Galaxy game, I was like, you know what, like, I'm here, I'm ready to do it. Like, yeah, we're playing Zlatan, like, I don't care. Like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna do my job to stop him from scoring and I'm gonna help my team win. So I think that at that point, I was just, it was, like I said, I was loving it. Like, everything was good. Dribbling forward, he gets dragged down by Kitchen. It's gonna be a free kick for LAFC. Mark Andy Kay is actually down injured. Mark Andy Kay is in trouble. This doesn't look good. Perry Kitchen came from behind and absolutely just swung out the leg, and then that caused Mark Andy Kay's left ankle to buckle. I already had saw the x-ray, so I knew that there was no real quick way of coming back to the game. So I think that at that point I realized like the negativity and the, the blaming myself and just feeling sorry for myself like wasn't gonna help the process. So you realize that now you have an opportunity to come back stronger, right? And it's like people already saw what I can do in 20 games and you know I felt very valued in this club when I was on the field and even when I'm not on the field. But I, I'm just eager to get back to that point. Like, I want to get back to that point. Like, I want to be back on the field and the fans being like, yes, Mark's back, you know? And one of the best things is, is how he is committed to his team, his teammates. Uh, even during this difficult stretch when he's been out, he's around almost every day. Obviously, 
as something I know all too well to see an injury cut a season short is, is heartbreaking for us, most for Mark, but he's working hard every day and we're really excited to have him back to full health soon. I'm very grateful to the staff here for what they've done. Like, you know, I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm, I can walk with crutches. There's a really bright future and uh, the, the disappointment of this year has hit us all, but he's gonna be back better and better and better next year. What we saw in Mark uh, up until that and through, including that game, certainly what he brings to our team, we're all really valuable components of what we were building and certainly we will welcome him back with open arms. I have a lot of more time on my hands now to, to be out there and kind of be more available to the community. It's just my way of kind of trying to give back and say thank you for the first 20 games of always supporting me. They were kind of here before us as players, you know. We had a great support group before there were even players. I think it's very important to me to be able to, you know, show my support back and give my love back to them. You know, just enjoy every moment you get, you know, like we're very lucky to be able to, to play this sport. Just going out there, I'm going to try and just be in a good mood all the time, just be positive about everything and just be thankful that I'm, I'm able to play.